Hello, Castle Hill scientists. I have something really fun to share with you today. But the first thing is no more cast. I got it off today and I'm very happy. Still, my thumb's a little sore, a little stiff. It's gonna be a while, but it's nice not to lug around that cast anymore. Today, we're gonna to be making a cloud in a bottle. Now, what are the four things that are needed to make a cloud? Anybody? Oh, Smitty? Very good answer. All right, first thing we need is water vapor. The second we need is a lower atmospheric pressure. The third thing we need is a cooler temperature. And the fourth is some kind of dust. And that's needed so that the water vapor has something to cling on to when it condenses. Now, in the real world, when we have warm air that's moist, say after a storm, water on the ground evaporates, turns into water vapor, rises up into the air, the air is expanding, higher air pressure. Once it gets up to a certain level, when it starts to cool and the air pressure decreases, the energy starts to leave all those water molecules and they begin to condense just because they don't have as much energy anymore. And then when they finally slow down so much, they're gonna grab onto a particle of dust. Now eventually, you're gonna get more and more of those little water vapor droplets joining together and they become so heavy and dense that they fall to the ground as precipitation. Now for this experiment or demonstration, I'm gonna show you four different ways to make a cloud in a bottle. And I will bet that you will have materials at home in order to do so. And for each one, I'm gonna use a different bottle. Maybe we'll see if there's something different about one of them. I have already prepared my bottles with a little bit of water. Okay, I'm gonna shake that around and get some water vapor going. And the first method I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pour some of that extra stuff out, is we're gonna use static guard. All right, this is used on fabric to prevent static. I'm gonna squirt a little bit of it in. I'm gonna quickly put the cap on. Oh, forgot to introduce, Bones is still with us here. He wanted to wear the goggles today to feel extra scientific. I have my water vapor. I have my dust. I don't have a low air pressure yet and I don't have a cooler temperature, and I'm not gonna get the cooler temperature. But if I am able to increase the pressure and then I'll release it so the air pressure decreases very quickly, we get our cloud. And it looks like the more I do it, the better the cloud I get. I want you to think about that a little bit and I'll tell you the reason next time. Method number two. We're going to use some hairspray. Go ahead and put a little bit of that in there. Put the cap on. Get it nice and tight. Hold it this way so you can see a little better. And we're going to squeeze, increase the air pressure, release, decrease, increase, decrease. Now, the reason that the cloud gets a little better each time is that we're increasing, we're adding more and more energy each time. So the difference between the increased air pressure and the decreased air pressure becomes greater. Therefore, we get faster condensation and a lot of the uh, more water vapor grabbing onto the dust. Okay, and the next way we're gonna do this is with incense. And another one of my bottles, I'm gonna pour a little bit of that out. And I blow out my incense, look at that great smoke. That's all got little dust particles in there. And you can see the smoke is gathering at the top because it's a little less dense. Flip around. Turn it off or close it. 
Looks a little cloudy, but we'll take care of that. Now this bottle squeezes more. I'm not getting as good a cloud. But we can still see it. Maybe I'll squeeze in the middle. Okay. And the last method is with some matches. You'll definitely want a parent to help you out with this one. Or an adult, maybe an older brother or sister who are allowed to do such things. Okay. So, I got my flame. It's not giving off any smoke. This is a very clean burn, you would say. But when I blow it out, and I stick the matches in, look at all that smoke. There's a lot of smoke there. And I'm going to drop my matches into the water. I'm going to cap it. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Increase, decrease. Increase, decrease. Increase. Yeah, this one's not doing it as well either. But you can still see there is a difference when we increase the air pressure. There's an increase in temperature as well. And the water vapor disappears. And then it condenses. Disappears and condenses. Now, this is also a lot of fun because then when you open up the one with the smoke and you gently squeeze the bottle make smoke rings you don't want to do it too hard they don't work very well and lots of fun with that okay so we've come to the end almost uh, but can anybody tell me why this was a demonstration and not an experiment? Did I follow the scientific method very well? No, I didn't. Because I had four different bottles and I had four different types of dust. So it was just like I was showing you four different ways to do it with four different bottles. If we wanted to do a, an experiment, however, I'd take those variables away have my bottle be the same, and test with each of the sources of dust. Um, measuring that would be a challenge, but you know, you could figure that out. Might be an idea for next year's science fair project. Now, speaking of bottles, you know, I like to go big or go home. Now, this is when the big dogs come to play. For this last one, you got it. We're gonna use this big boy and see if we can get a cloud in the bottle. I got my water in there already. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my hairspray. Ugh. A few shots of hairspray. Put that gone. Now let's see if we can make this thing work. Okay, we are ready. Does anybody want to make a prediction on what's going to happen? Do you think we're going to get a cloud in this big boy? Let's see. I'd say that's cloud. Yeah, I'll buy it. Let's keep going. More energy. Oh, not bad, huh? Okay, so now it's your turn. Go and have some fun with this. Experiment with bottles, different types of dust. And uh, keep learning. Keep having fun at home, everybody. We miss you a lot. Both Mr. Bones and I do. All right, take care. Be safe. Bye-bye.